All right, people, welcome back. More Vitamin Y. So, uh, we're going to be just taking a close look at all the decks on Vitamin Y right now, seeing how, you know, chain-dependent they are, and uh, whether, uh, you know, they should remain on Vitamin Y, or get taken off, hopefully, just temporarily, until, of course, uh, Chain hopefully comes back. Like I said, I think, I think and a good majority of people think that Chain's just going to be on, because this is the world's list. It's just going to be on for worlds, just so, you know, nothing sacky happens with the level Chain like last worlds, and, uh, you know. Because I was actually sitting there talking to a lot of level chain with my friends. I'm not going to go into getting into level chain that. But I was just thinking, you know, there's not a lot of cards that go from straight up three to banned. Like, you have to do something straight up just, oh my god, to go from three to banned. And you, when you look at the cards that went from just three to banned, you know, they clearly done something where, you know, not even putting to one could even be enough. Like, for example... Uh, releaser, you know, even if we put releaser to one, you only need one release, they so, uh, it had to be banned, you know, there was no choice when it, in the matter when it came to that card, but, uh, you know, the level chain, I mean, they didn't even test it at one, and that's why I'm just like, whoa, you know, you didn't even test it, you didn't want to see it at one, you're like, no thank you, bam, like, wow, that, that is pretty extreme, you know, usually it's, you can kind of, even, even super poly, they tested at one, and, you know, look how powerful super poly is, you know, you know, some, some people, if you ask which one caused more destruction in the game, Super Poly or Level Chain, there'd be no doubt. You know, especially with Chanel's, like, yeah, Super Poly was just dumb. Fused with my damn monster spells before, and I can't even spawn in shit, like, but, uh, oh, alright, well, this is gonna be a, definitely a hard duel. This is gonna be a hard one, because I did not open up too hot. Cosmic. <laughs> Ying Zings. You know, definitely... The funny thing is, before the Wobble Chain got hit, I wanted to probably, I wanted to take this deck off, but now, it seems like this might be the deck that I want to keep on, but, uh, I wouldn't be surprised if I got, uh, Trished. Um, and it, the funny thing is, Chow Fang would definitely be better, but, you know, the, the Trish hype is too real, you know. It's just like, every time you get an opportunity to Trish, you know, why not? He's just gonna go ahead and throw the dark hole at me, cause why the fuck not? So you get your effect, I get my effect. Which means I'm summoning goddamn terror from my hand. I hate summoning from my hand. Like I generally like to go ahead and summon from my, you know, deck, cause you know that's not resources I'm using up in my hand. Now that's just one less card my opponent knows that I have in my hand. Like, you know, so. Like I said, I'm probably going to lose this duel. He's going to go ahead and use his effect. He has two Yang Zings. Pitch, pitch. P return me to the deck. I won't get my effect. Yeah, you got it. You got it. I, I know your place, so you got it. Because I, I already know what you're doing. You got it. I'm not, I don't need to be fucking... Like, wh why? You're going to pitch two... Summon two, go into uh, Baxia, return my terror back to the deck. Okay. I don't care. Not salty. It's all in good fun, bro. You don't even be salty. All I said was because I already know what you're going to do and you got it. How the fuck did I, did I come up with salty? I mean, sometimes I'm salty, but that time, no. You got it. There's nothing I can do. I just know what your plays are, you know? And, of course, when terrors return back to the deck... I do not get the effect, so, and as you can clearly see by my hand, there's no follow-up play, I, there's nothing, so, you know, I'm definitely not salty, you know? like, when, when practice makes perfect, what does that analogy have to do with anything right now, like, I'm not practicing anything, I'm just trying to duel and record and entertain, like, I know how this deck works, you know, practice makes perfect, like, nigga, shut the fuck up, I hate when people do that, I hate when people tell me what to do, it pisses me off. As if they know what I'm thinking. Like, you don't know shit about me. So shut the fuck up. Now that makes me salty. Reminds me of my mother. All the time, she always does that. Like, you don't know what the fuck I was gonna say or think, so shut the hell up. You know, that shit pisses me off. And that guy clearly pissed me off. Not because of duel, because that he thinks he's better than me by, you know, talking down to me. Like, no, no, you have it. That's it. Not salty. That's it. That's game. <sighs> but what was I talking I was talking about cards that go from three to ban. You know, look, like... What are some cards that went straight up? Like, let's think. What are some cards that went from straight up three to banned? Spellbook. Spellbook of Judgment. You know, it was stupid. Wow, I accidentally clicked. 
What am I doing? What am I doing? What the fuck am I doing? Now I'm not gonna play Mystic Tomato because I fucking misclicked. Fucking misclicked, so that's totally my bad. No idea what we're facing right now, but like usual, Tomato is just really slow. It's fun first turn, second turn is just a little bit too slow, you know? I probably should have just summoned it in tap mode and went after him. Especially since he already knew I had Tomato because I misclicked. Like, that was my bad. Alright, if he doesn't want to do anything, I guess I'll go ahead and go after him, so, normal something. Alright. Guess I'll go ahead and go after him, because why not? <coughs> Ugh. You know, uh, Super Reju, drawing a shit ton with Dragon Rewards. You know, it's just a lot of cards that just went, you know, banned. And... When you sit there and you look at it and you compare the wall change to that, I mean, they didn't even try that one. Like, that's the shocking thing, you know? That's why I was like, you know, let's go ahead and try that one, because I don't see what sacky shit you can do with a level change at one. But banned? Straight up, just banned. Like, I don't know. Like I said, it, it must be something with worlds. It has to be. Because right now, it just doesn't make any sense that they would go ahead and ban it like that. God, I'm just so slow. You know, I gotta send New Bell, and then I gotta send Mally, and then I gotta send Labradite, you know. Just slow, really slow. You know? You gotta think it just exceeds to until the level chain and send, but I don't know. My stack might be temporarily taken off as well. I'm, I'm looking at a couple of decks, and I'm just trying to get away from the level chain reliance, and I thought that this deck was gonna be okay, but it just seems a lot slower, a lot more sluggish. So maybe we'll go ahead and temporarily replace it until the level chain comes back, if it ever comes back with other U-Bell decks say, hey, or maybe a less U-Bell reliant, but, you know, still don't rely on the level chain, which means that you see less U-Bell, so it would kind of make turning vitamin one into more of a, like, hey, these are the decks that have U-Bell splashed in it, but aren't on daily duels, you know? He like said, I don't plan on doing, uh, Webcam duels for the live video this week. Damn. Well, I mean, it is the number generator, so there's no surprise there. I'm so he's gonna bust the Quasar on my face. Okay, activate one for one. Pay your cost and summon your monster. Oh, you have to send one monster from your hand to the graveyard. That's why you quit. I keep on forgetting it has to be a monster. Alright. So, I don't know. It just seems really slow and sluggish. I used to be able to be like, oh yeah, I'm gonna get a knight send and it'll like see the lava chain, send, send, get set up, and here we go. You know, we're eight minutes into this video and I really haven't done anything. I haven't summoned a Labradite, I haven't I haven't gone into an Altamaya. It's been really slow and sluggish. I don't know. Like I said, tell me what you guys think. If you guys think, you know what? Temporarily take this deck off and come back to it. I, I don't care. Holy crap. Because I can. I can go ahead and, you know, remove this deck temporarily for other Yuga decks. I was going to say, at least I got Dark Raffer because, mm. mm -hmm. I could at least send two out of a couple of monsters that I have to send. Unless he has effect mailer. Which would suck, but wouldn't be terrible just because you bell is the cost. So we'll of course go ahead and send Labradite. Not tomato, but I'm not sure how well tomato's gonna do. I just don't naturally like playing tomato, it just seems slow. But I gotta play it in here since chain is banned, I need I need the help. I need the help. So you can summon this so, so great. So it's tunes and it doesn't even need Tune World, of course. So it's if Tune World doesn't feel destroy, destroy this card. While you control this Tune World, your opponent control no more. Tune Monsters, this card can take you out. This card attacks this chain. Blah, 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 blah. Okay. Well, tunes. Cause it would be awesome to go ahead and summon, go into a level chain, detent, send the Mali, and then, you know, there'd be Ultimaya Tzolkin right there, but. Nope, don't 
nope. So, I guess I'll summon Tomato and then crash and summon Armageddon. I Armageddon. I said, and I guess I can go into like this card. Normal summon or special summon? Just summoned. Just normal summon. I guess I can go. And, why do I have two Castells? Really weird. I think I literally took out a little chain and threw it in there, and then you guys know how I am with editing my extra deck. Terrible. Anyway, it's awesome going against Tombs, which, as you guys know, I hate this deck. I hate this deck just because it's a Saki deck. It's glorified Watts. Just like, you're not even dueling me, you're really just going to try to attack me directly all the fucking time. So, I'll go ahead and take the 900. But this card says, if this card attacks, yeah, so it didn't attack, so it's still in attack mode. i say the one thing I like about Tomato is, you know, it goes off during the damage step, so. so we'll go ahead and send Maui, and then we can start doing our plays. My question is, do I want to go ahead and exceed into one of these two? I guess I can go, yeah, I can actually exceed these two into Emerald, and then detach some of the Maui and do that play that way. Like I said, Toons play back row. It's like Watts, except they play back row, and, you know, they're field spell. Emerald. Yep. Yep, see? As I said, it's, tunes are literally just, uh, fucking, uh, glorified fucking, uh, Watts. Attack you directly and hit you with trap cards that are very powerful for what type of deck they are. And I guess I'll go ahead and... Yeah, I know. I, know. I, could, I can read. I can read my own fucking card. You didn't know that I just put shit in my deck and play it and I don't even know what the fuck it does? I'm still in main phase two. Your opponent summons a monster. Damn, it's just straight up summons. Not even special summons, just summons. And when they normal summon. Fucking disgusting. Alta. Really? <clears throat> Fucking scrub. Now some thanks for telling me thanks for telling me you have bottomless. Sad. Fact. Void. Go ahead, play your fucking bottomless. Play your fucking bottomless, you fucking scrub. Trying to throw a back row at me like that. Looking like a motherfucking, uh... Actually, you know what? I should've wouldn't do it. You know what? I'm screwed either way. Because if someone's not a tune, you can just exit into Castell, bounce me, and then kill me, so... Either way, I'm not looking good right now. This damn bottomless and shit. Yep, that's what I'm saying. Just got some another one. XC into Castella 101. Get rid of my fucking void and attack over my Ultimaya. God damn it. God fucking damn it. Mm hmm. That's exactly what I was worried about. Great, and Toon Kingdom. God, I hate tombs. You fucking solitary ass play. I can handle this still. Alright, so someone else my blah 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 blah. This is just for Toon Monster, so I guess I'll go ahead and go into Beals, since you can't bottomless my damn Beals. What else do I have? Yeah, I'm gonna go into Beals. So, we'll go ahead and activate on Doom. We'll go ahead and go Mali effect. Mm 
especially since he's played a lot of his cards and revealed a lot to me. I could pretty much easily respond to his plays. I'll be dropping down to two cards. I, I remember I was going to take out a cast down and put an ultimate. I probably forgot. I said I was going to do it and I forgot. Sounds like me. Sure. How many times are you going to fucking activate that shit and then reset it? Like, technically you already activated it, so you used it, but I'm not going to be that much of an asshole. If you try to fucking real shark me, I know I'll be a fucking asshole. I said, tunes are just solitary play. And of course, I cannot revive neither one of these, because I think this can only be synchro summoned. Must be special summoned. Yep, must be special summon from your extra deck. <sighs> alright. Alright, fucking scrub. Fucking scrub. Quit! Like, nigga, you could've just attacked me directly. Why do you even care about my Ultimaya when you're running fucking tunes? Like, really? Really? I'm going fix this deck. Alright. I don't know. You had you had your tune gem and nothing else. You were gonna start attacking me directly. You had your field spell and everything. So I don't even know why you quit. Like, I guess the Beals is applying too much pressure. I have no idea. I don't even know what the card that you set was. Another trap card, but you know, maybe it was something to handle Beals. I don't even know why I just quit. Eh, whatever. I'll go ahead and start off with that. It's like he has MST, he has MST. There's nothing I can do about that, right? I was gonna get MST sooner or later. Right? There we go. I was coming to get MST sooner or later, right? So, might as well go ahead and get it over with. Alright, let's go. Do something. Oh, dumb. Oh, dumb. I hate when people do that. What's the point of fucking throwing the MST at me if you're not gonna fucking do anything? It's like, oh, MST! Son of a monster. Like, why? Why? Shouldn't you hold on to the MST before until, you know, you commit to a play? Whatever. 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 I'm not gonna tell you to play Yu-Gi-Oh. I just I don't understand the point of throwing the MST at me if you're not gonna do any plays. It's not since my call is gone, I guess I'll go ahead and set up Labradorite. And I would totally go ahead and flip summon, make a little with chain, send Mally. Like, look, look, how, look how hindered I am. So much slower. So much slower. Okay. Go ahead. So gimmick puppets. I guess I should start getting aggressive with Mr. Tomato if he wants to use resources to pop it and not destroy the battle with flying, but if you destroy the battle, it's fine too. Just, damn, this would be a perfect time. Flip summon, exit, wall chain, detach, send Mally, revive, swing, summon, Mally, summon, set, summon, but no. I guess that, um, just, uh, you know, level, level chain's an enabler. You, you know, look at all the extended plays it can do. I'm sorry that uh, a level chain allows me to do extended plays in my tier fucking 69 garbage ass Ubel deck. But hey. So, hopefully we'll go ahead and get another set, and, you know, maybe another Armageddon Knight, maybe he'll kill my Mystic Tomato by battle, and I'll slowly get set up with my plays. Wow, you don't even, oh, let's tell you I'm crazy. So you don't even want to use your effect? Oh, I got Armageddon Knight again, so that's nice. So, oh yeah, you can totally go ahead and set a card during my turn. Uh, I'm sorry, DN has way too much fucking freedom. Way too much freedom. He did that shit in a fucking tournament. Fuck it. I guess I'll turn these two into emerald.
in the sack. My normal monster, of course, like Labradite. Just wondering if there's like a mirror force back there or something. Hmm. Probably is. So I'll just go ahead and summon Maui. So who should I go into? Oh, I can go into Void. Ah, but I'd have to set all my cards. I don't want to do that. Yeah, I'll go into Beals. Because I don't want to set all my cards, you know? Ultimaya. Should probably put you in defense mode, but oh well. Go ahead and set this. Set. Let's go ahead and go into Beals. Okay. Synchro. Synchro. Yeah. Send a tuner and a non-tuner that are level 5 or higher that are same level. My Mali and my Labradar are both level 6. Yeah. Probably should have summoned you in defense mode. Oh, okay. I guess. Might go ahead and summon another Tzolkin. Mm. Don't they have a car that just wipes the field? I think they do. I'll leave it alone. I think it's rank up monster. You like put all the tokens and you, then you destroy me by card effects. So there's no point in summoning another Tzolkin. That's what he's going to do. You know? If that's what he does. His rank up... Uh, Gimmick puppet. Or he quits! Fucker. Damn it. Whatever. Well, I did my plays. They're just really slow. So, I don't know. No, I just dueled against him. I mean, Ruler Blue. I just dueled against the Gimmick puppet guy. He just scooped it up real quick. He scooped it up real quick. Like, was that sign 0 to 100? Like, was that Drake? I don't know. I don't listen to rap music like that. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and call it. So tell me what you guys think. If you guys think, you know what? Just take a break. Just wait until the ball of chain comes back and put this deck on hold. It's going to be temporary because, you know, I got a couple of decks that, you know, have Ebel in it, but they're not Ebel decks. So, you know, I can go ahead and make, like, uh, like, to try out, like, Evil Hero Ebel, and I can try out, no, not Umber Ebel because I need the level chain for that. So that's not going to work. Uh, I can try out, I could put Red Eyes Ebel. That, that, that deck doesn't really need a wall chain. I mean, it really doesn't need Ubel, but it doesn't need a wall of chain, so we can go ahead and do that. That well, There's just a couple of decks that, you know, don't rely on the wall of chain and therefore don't really rely on uh, Ubel at all. But, hey, if we summon Ubel, we summon her. If we don't, then, hey, you guys get to go ahead and see uh, decks that aren't on daily duels on Vimin Y. And if Ubel makes an appearance, then, hey, uh, I don't know. I don't know. So I guess I'll see you guys tomorrow with Ubel Xyz, and once again, we'll go ahead and see... Uh, whether we need Law well, Train, probably, probably. If the deck needs, like, <coughs> Mystic Tomato and shit to send and help me send, then probably. Probably just for more setup speed. And it seems like this deck, Ebel Xyz, they're just, their setup speed's a little bit too slow without the Law Train without the additional sending. So, hey, that's what I get for doing, for the Law Chain being an enabler. I mean, casualties are real. So, I hope that you guys enjoyed this episode of Daily Duels. So, I'm Daily Duels, this is Vimin Y. Hello? I'm not even thinking. Uh, Vimin Y. <laughs> You know, I was thinking, I was thinking ahead of time, because you're going to get two daily duels tomorrow, of course, being uh, Kleez for your regular daily duels and your uh, hump day bonus tag on Wednesday's daily duels uh, using Infernoids, and join by, you'll find out. So, uh, what else? Uh, league is starting up this Saturday, so get hyped. So, thanks for watching, thanks for all the support, and uh, yeah, see you guys tomorrow with you bucks, you bucks, please. Alright, people, thanks for watching.